Okay, so we have uh, one minute uh, in order to go to the break. Uh, I think we're going to go to the break now. When we come back, we have a lot to talk uh, about the awards you will receive uh, at the Bronze Net Level Up events at Liman College Studio. So without further ado, let's go to the break. You're not gonna get it all right. Just make sure you nail the big stuff, like making sure your kids are in the right seat for their age and size. Get it right at nhtsa.gov slash the right seat. Okay, we are back. And I was telling you that we're gonna talk about the TV award you receive uh, from BronzeNet Level Up. Uh, according to BronzeNet website, thousand of Bronze Net Assets Producer Level Up on Thursday night. This event honors all the assets producers who have contributed to creating amazing programming for Bronze Net television channels, even through pandemic. The producer enjoyed music by DJ Mary D. A 360 photo booth received certificates and were able to take a tour of the newly renovated Lehman College Studios. Ms. Catherine, can you tell me a little bit more about that event? Well, I'm I enjoy yeah. being there because we got to touch. Mm -hmm. We got to be outside and be together. So that was amazing um, to get the acknowledgement from Bronx Net. Yeah, I can see uh, your, your smile on that picture. <laughs> 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 I mean, yeah. that was a good day. Mm -hmm. I mean, the spirit in the room was such a beautiful, you couldn't help but smile. The food was good. The DJ was good. But I think more than anything, just all of us being together and meeting each other, the ones who hadn't met, you know, getting a chance to be like, hey, who are you? Welcome, was a nice feeling. Because I got to meet some new producers that I only got to watch during COVID, but didn't get to meet because they, they came after COVID. So that was a beautiful feeling. And, and then again, once to get recognized mm -hmm. from Bronx, like, I see you. I see the work you're doing. So warm. That's good. That's good. You know what? Uh, when I saw your picture with a large smile, <laughs> when you posted on Facebook, I remember something you was telling to one of your guests. You know that uh, I'm one of the your crew members, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you was telling one of your guests that it's something like you you wanna give up, like you don't wanna do the show again in a few days. I saw this, I said, aha, now, <laughs> Miss Catherine. <laughs> you see, so I was telling you to keep doing it. You help a lot of people who watch your show, and then uh, you have a very good content. So uh, beside the, the, the award that you received, uh, when we came back from uh, the COVID, the pandemic, so we just had a new, it's like a brand new studio. So I want you to tell me a little bit about your experience with uh, all the equipment that you saw in our new league studio. Well, I'm excited about the new, new studio that's opening in September, but the one back at Lehman, um, it's not new, just renovated. It felt good to be there. I actually was able to take a couple of shows at the new studio since we were introduced to it. And so it was beautiful. It felt fancy, but I'm going to say it's nothing like my team at Mercy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and, so. and, I wanna, and I don't want to acknowledge my team because during that same, like a week later, the next chapter won a free free. Hold on, I'm sorry. Just turned down my bad. No the, problem. The next chapter won a Be Free Award 
mm-hmm. for freedom of speech, First Amendment. And okay. I believe we did that because of the production quality of our group, like you on audio. Remember back in the day when I first came out, <laughs> yeah. I had great content for yeah. horrible audio. <laughs> <laughs> and now I have a beautiful full team, director, assistant director, graphics, audio. And now not only did we get recognized at the Bronx level up, yeah. but we got recognized on Brick TV. Yeah, that that was a very very good event. Uh, yeah. So uh, on August twenty six, you will have a an event called "I'm You," and I can see your your share. Oh, yeah. I'm <laughs> you. So I want you to tell me a little bit about that event. <laughs> well, I am you is a one woman comedic satire mm-hmm. where I tell the world twenty five. Oh no, seven stories of the last 25 years of my life, plus the three years of COVID. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm, I share this in a very raw, vulnerable way where the messaging may not be totally where you can identify each story, mm-hmm. but you can identify with the feeling, which is why I call the show, I Am You. Okay, that's very good. And that is, is produced this year from New Heritage uh, Theater Group in Harlem, and it's going to be directed from Shades of Truth Artistic Director Michael Green. Okay, that's very good. So I saw you yeah. when I look at uh, the events that you attended and uh, all those kind of stuff you are doing it. So I'm asking myself, where did you get that time? <laughs> look like you are busy you are everywhere <laughs> that, that's a, that's a social media lie yeah, <laughs> yeah I got some notification that's a, that's a life on social media yeah. <laughs> but yeah. you know what happened mm-hmm. I tried to be not I tried because we were just in five for two years three years mm-hmm. Um, I'm being very intentional right now in my life. Okay. In this next chapter, as an empty nester, I want to enjoy my work by being amongst cultural events mm-hmm. and progressive events that make me or allow me to enjoy this time that I have currently on earth. Okay, that's you know, very good. So you want to work you also want to enjoy mm-hmm. what you're doing and where you're at. Okay. That's very good. Uh, so I will take that one as a transition since you were talking about social media. Recently, you started a workshop on how to use social media effectively as a business owner or an artist. So what inspired you to create that workshop? What inspired me was I was at a town hall meeting a couple of months ago mm-hmm. and there was no type of social media announcement or present about this town hall meeting. And it was a very important town hall meeting where I don't know if people realize that when you have a voice in your community, mm-hmm. it's going to the board meeting in your community. So being involved politically doesn't always mean actual vote Mm -hmm. so like for myself i don't vote yeah so in order for me to be a community activist and so um work and involvement i attend certain community board meetings Mm -hmm. so when i was at the meeting and i saw that there was no hashtag there was no analysis of who was presenting Mm -hmm. what was being presented and this wasn't a new organization I was perplexed. It boggled my mind and it upset me because I felt like social media is a free marketing tool. Yeah. And it's not the be all, the end all, but it is the current market trend that we are using in as a business. Mm-hmm. So if people weren't using it, I say, you know what? 10 years ago, I was doing this with constant content. I was teaching email marketing. 
Yeah. And I was like, okay, remember how a few weeks ago we were talking about creating different revenue streams? Yeah. So I was thinking, let me put myself out there to mm-hmm. teach people how to use social media because maybe there's a hesitant, there's a disconnect to them not understanding the importance of using mm-hmm. a free marketing tool to expose their business, the people that's on their platform, mm-hmm. what it is they're doing, especially as a community program yeah. involving and informing the community. Okay. If you don't inform the community, you're just a part of the everybody else in the matrix yeah. that's trying to keep good stuff away from people. Yeah. Yeah.